or the live-action adaption that many would consider to be... Alright, there was the animated adaption of one of Roald Dahl's greatest stories that Roald himself... actually liked? Wow, this should be great! The BFG a little girl named Sophie decides to stay up during the witching hour to look at... an owl. But instead, she sees a cloaked giant blowing dreams into children's bedrooms. Wait, I thought you make dreams up yourself. Like how I dreamt of this idea for this video last night. But when the giant spots Sophie watching him, he decides to take her away to his homeland, the same way E.T. would. He takes her to a mysterious land filled with nine huge, scary, cannibalistic, child-eating giants. Wait, why did he do that again? If I has not wiggled you away, you is yodeling around everybody. How's you seen a giant? And, and then they come hunting me and capturing me and putting me in a zoo. That actually makes sense and is really believable. Hmm, kudos. Watch as the BFG and Sophie have to think of a way to stop the other giants from eating children. So they decide to convince the Queen to help them by giving her a nightmare. Yeah kids, whenever you need help from someone important, just give them a nightmare. You know, I feel like doing that right now. With help from the Queen, they will try to capture and tame the giants into a deep dark pit with some assistance from the British Army, who seem to be really obsessed with bombs, guns and explosions. Oh, kaboom! Bombs! Kaboom! Tanks! Kaboom! Kaboom! Wow, these guys were into Michael Bay before he even started directing anything. Meet the BFG, the only nice giant in all of giant country. For some reason... Oh, I is a nice giant. Oh, I is a freaky giant. There's not another giant like me in all of giant country. He has the job of collecting all sorts of dreams and giving them to children as they sleep. Think of him as Santa Claus, but he does it every night. He is voiced by none other than David Jason. Some may remember him as Danger Mouse, Count Dracula, or Del Boy. But for me, I'll remember this guy as two characters. Mr. Toad and the BFG. The BFG! Uh, that's me? <laughs> and meet Sophie, a little orphan girl who is probably the sweetest little thing you'll ever see. Until you see this. It's been five years and I still find it adorable. She is voiced by Amanda Root, who wasn't a little girl back then, but yet still managed to voice crack as much as Claire Collette. It's like frog skins and rotten fish. I can't. I, I don't know how. <laughs> Leave <him> alone! <laughs> And meet nine of the scariest looking giants you have ever seen. I mean, just look at their names. Sheesh. Watch as they eat little innocent children in their sleep. In fact, they even show it to you. Right after we've seen them having a jolly little dream too. <laughs> For being one of the best children's stories, it's pretty damn dark! From the same studio that have brought you these childhood gems, they bring you the best animation they ever did in that period. It's not the best ever, but the higher budget they had made their TV shows look... meh. And seriously, how many times is Danger Mouse going to keep looking at that gear lever? On top of that, listen to some of the best music you will ever hear. Period. The background music has a really great retro feel to it, and I love it. Sometimes Secretly by Sharon Campbell is the most beautiful song I have ever heard. 
It seriously makes me want to cry. And let's not forget the whiz popping song. I mean, how can anybody forget about this? It's really catchy and really addictive. I can listen to it all week and never get tired of it. Whiz pop, whiz bang, feel the bubbles go down. Whiz bang, whiz pop, bursting all around. Whiz pop, whiz bang, take it nice and slow. If you never stopping the fabulous feeling of whiz popping. God damn it, it's a song about farting. Why is it so catchy? Starring The Big Friendly Stalker, Rule 63 Mowgli, Channel Scarer, 1980 Scrat, Dad's Army the Animated Series, Not Very Subtle Advertising, and The Woman You Find Behind Every 20p Coin. The GUM. The Great Underrated Masterpiece. God damn it, I'm still listening to this. Quick, somebody play me your welcome before it's too late. Whiz, pop, whiz, bang, feel the bubbles go down.